Welcome cuties, let's create. Today I'm going to be doing a March bullet journal planner spread. Some of the things that I have are a happy planner and I already went through and did the whole year, but I just wanna focus on just March so I can see week by week of what's happening for the next month. So I have paper that has the little dots on it for bullet journaling. I have a pencil, I have sticker books that I got from Walmart, and I'll leave a link in the description. I have paper mate markers, but you can get markers that say felt tip. Those are the same thing. I will also link, leave a link in the description. Some of the things that I was trying to think of, of how I wanted it to look for the first page, and I wasn't sure what to do, so I decided to look up some things about March. Their flower is daffodils. They have, the only holiday they have is St. Patrick's Day, and their birthstone is aquamarine, which is a light blue. So I kind of went off of that and just trying to figure out what I wanted to do. But starting off is just writing March at the top. I looked on Pinterest of some different ways that people have done titles and the fonts, I guess you could, that's the only way I can describe it is fonts. But I really liked it when people did cursive, but they made it look like bubble letters. So I went ahead and did that because I really liked that look. And it wasn't too hard like I thought it was going to be. The next thing is I wanted to add some details around the title because I didn't put a banner, or I didn't put anything special like that, so I decided to draw just a couple of clovers. I only have one four-leaf clover, and I've, I realized in this moment that I'm not very good at drawing clovers, but that's okay. So I decided to do that. I went ahead to draw um, the whole month, the calendar of March. And I didn't use the whole paper because I wanted to use the bottom, which apparently, looking back, I somehow didn't record it. So I'm kind of bummed, but I think I show it in the end. Um, I write down all the special dates. So I was trying to figure out what color theme I wanted to do. And I didn't draw daffodils because they looked really hard to draw. So I stuck with clovers and stuck with the St. Patrick's theme. I went with dark green for the title. And then I wanted to do rainbow for the calendar part because rainbows are kind of also part of St. Patrick's Day. You know, you think of rainbows and four-leaf clovers and pots of gold. and So that's why I went with those color themes. I wrote all the dates. And I realized I messed up by using a fluorescent pink for the first part and realized it was supposed to be orange. So that's why it kind of skips it. Uh, it's kind of dark for the first three Mondays. It's kind of hard to tell, but Sunday and Monday are different. <laughs> it's a light pink and a light orange. They look very similar, but in person they look a little different. After that, what I do is I write down all the dates that are going to be coming up. So daylight savings is on the 8th, you know, stuff like that. And I even drew little tiny balloons just in the corner to figure out when birthdays were. And then at the bottom, when I wrote special days, 
I wrote whose birthday was when, and I'll show it at the end, I promise. I apparently also didn't um, film the first week very long. I don't know why. But I did light blue, so using that aquamarine, I know it's probably not the same color, but I drew diamonds. And then I leave space on the bottom and the side for notes and meal plans. So I, for my second week, I did more of a, my greenery theme. And that's when I used the stickers of Mondays and Tuesdays and Wednesdays. And for the whole month of March, I, I uh, alternated between the light blue and the light green. So all of the weeks, oh, you can see in the top corner, for a brief second, the important dates. <laughs> Um, anyway, so sorry. <laughs> I just saw that and was like, oh, there it is. And then it briefly left. Anyway, so I went ahead and I just was drawing. Oh, you can see it again. So this is how it turned out. Um, so skipping the calendar, I got this, there's this clear little tab that I got from Hobby Lobby that is for the Happy Planner. So that's that. I'll leave a le link in the description. So here is the spread and the important dates on the bottom. Um, I like how that turned out. I think it, it looks good. Here's the first week with the diamonds that I was talking about. Um, I have the space at the bottom for notes and for meal ideas. The second one with the leafy green thing again for notes and meal plans um, this is the next week and at the squares I accidentally ripped the paper <laughs> the other day um, I messed up there and there but that's okay that's what whiteout is for and I only did the three days because I just want to focus on March. So I only have Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday because then in April, I will have the rest of the week for in my April section. So that's the month of March. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, leave a like and a comment. Until next time, keep creating.